The Easy Deck system has just a few major elements. We'll start with the post, with a load rating from 16 to 28,000 pounds per leg. Load capacity will depend on the height and panel lateral bracing specified. The post comes in several lengths to fit your job requirements. The Easy Bracing Panel and Easy Shore Post, both made of lightweight aluminum, have a jaw connection that is self-squaring. The shoring panels come in four lengths, four, six, eight, and ten foot. The posts can connect end to end for tall towers with the Easy Deck machine bolt. Superior strength panel clamps make for a quick connection between the panel and post, needing only a hammer to close the jaws and secure the assembly. There are both long and short jacks that slide into either end of the posts. They can adjust to any length between 5 and 38 inches. They are made of durable steel that can support 18 to 28,000 pounds and is thin-walled for lightweight and easy handling. The jack washer reduces the force required to release the jack wing nut. The jack retainer clips required on each jack comes as a complete assembly and secures the screw jack to the shore leg. The U-head brackets provide support for the Z-beam stringers and quickly attach to deck gangs. They allow the gangs to be lifted and cycled without teardown and reassembly. The deck is constructed of EFCO patented E-beams and Z-beams along with contractor supplied plywood. The E-beam has no wood nailer strip, but its lightweight galvanized steel allows plywood to be attached with nails or screws. The connection holds three to four times more than a wood nailer strip with the same fastener. The E-beam attaches to the Z-beam with the EFCO quick bolt. The Z-beam bolts to the U-head bracket, making it possible to move in one solid unit. The quick bolts also make it possible to cantilever both the E-beam and the Z-beam. Lifting eyes attach to the Z-beams, allowing for modular movements from pore to pore when a crane is used. Being organized goes a long way toward improved productivity. Take an assembly line approach to working with the equipment. Let's step through method number one first, bottom-up building.